what's up y'all make sure you have your notification bells on because like i said it's gonna be an influx of news over at least these couple of days um but definitely throughout the off season um it's about to be halftime and chiefs bills so let me know who y'all got um in this game but we already know sean desai out the building matt patricia supposed to be out the building next um, but it has been reported. Now, earlier today, it was reported that Denard Wilson was one of the um, defensive coordinator candidates that Nick Sirianni proposed. Now, y'all know I love Denard Wilson. The players love Denard Wilson. The players were emotional last season when Denard Wilson got passed up for D.C. Um, and eventually went on to the Ravens. So we already know Denard Wilson is someone that, one, is going to at least maximize the secondary. And we know that's the biggest Outside of tackling, that's the biggest problem on defense. So, Denard Wilson is somebody, too, that the players already love and can get behind. Um, but some other names have emerged that Nick Sirianni has presented. So, one is Ryan Nielsen. Ryan Nielsen, former Atlanta Falcons defensive coordinator. Ryan Nielsen um, got the boot after they fired um, – What's his name? Arthur Smith. So I'm going to give you all a little insight on Ryan Nielsen in a minute from my Falcons Insider. Um, if you guys are new here, I have a lot of new subscribers. I do have a Falcons Insider, so stay tuned. Um, let me know how y'all feel about Ryan Nielsen. Second, Wink Martindale. Y'all, why I call this man Winkle? <laughs> why I call this man Winkle by mistake? Wink Martindale, excuse me. Um, Wink Martindale is someone else who Nick Sirianni presented. So, so far, I'm really liking Wink Martindale, Giants offensive coordinator. I'm really, really liking who Nick Sirianni is bringing to the table for defensive coordinator. Look what you do when you turn that hot seat on. You know what I'm saying? He start making the right moves when you make that seat hot. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to put these brothers on the hot seat sometimes because then they start acting right. Um... But offensive coordinator, I do not like who he's presented for offensive coordinator, Tom Bob Cooter. Um, we talked about that yesterday. Jim. Jim Bob Cooter. You know, I knew it was two first names. But anyways, let's talk about Ryan Nielsen, Falcons Insider. What's up? It's your boy, Dylan. So Dylan uh, works for the radio station covering the Atlanta Falcons. He has his own show covering the Falcons. The time, home out, time out, time out, time out. The flagship station of the, the Atlanta Falcons. The flagship station of the Atlanta Falcons. So Thank what you. is 94 WIP for you guys, um, the Atlanta Falcons version of that? So, Dylan, what makes Ryan Nielsen fa? So what makes Ryan Nielsen fa is just his schemes. Um, he knows how to he knows how to scheme it up to where he gets home with four. Obviously, he sends pressure too, but he doesn't send an overly – he's not overly aggressive, but he's aggressive enough – when he needs to be, he just has a good feel for when to blitz, when to do a stunt, and things of that nature. Just his scheming is really good. Obviously, he's a very animated coach. He gets the guys fired up. Uh, he's a real players coach as well, too. Just a really, really good coach. Obviously, the Falcons spent a lot of money in free agency on the defensive side of the football, so that definitely helped Ryan Nielsen out. Of course, having an all-pro like Jesse Bates, bringing in David Onyemata, Caden Ellis, Guys like that. Nate Lamb, it really came about this season, too. But Ryan Nielsen also helped a lot with his scheme. He really put some of his best players in the best positions. And then we brought a guy in from the Eagles, who you all know, Contavious Street. And he came and made an immediate impact, not only because Contavious is a good player, as you all know, but because Ryan Nielsen put him in the best positions as well. So I really, really like Ryan Nielsen. He turned a Falcons defense that was, <laughs> quite frankly, naive into a... Defense that was pretty much top 10 in the league. The last couple of games, they fell off a little bit, but we were really hurt by injuries. Obviously, Grady Jarrett was out for most of the year with a torn ACL as well. So Ryan Nielsen did a lot with what he had and had to face with a lot of injuries as well. But he's just a really good defensive coordinator, so that would be a good pickup. But I have to say this tomorrow. Um, My arm getting tired. Wow. I have to know. <laughs> I have to say this. Um, Ryan Nielsen is officially fired. Yeah, actually. So. Well, he, um, he, but he. I mean, but he's but he's probably gonna get he's probably gonna get the boot because the Falcons are obviously bringing in a new coach, and that new coach will probably want a new defensive coordinator. But it's not official that he's not. He is still technically the. He is still the Falcons defensive coordinator. Child, he interviewing. He on Indeed. So <laughs> that tells me what I need to say. But unfortunately, I don't have a Giants insider to give y'all insight on Wink. But we know 
uh, Mr. Winkle, because that's what I'll be calling him. Come here. We know Winkle, Wink, Martindale Winkle is fine. But y'all, let me know what you think, Nick, baby. Okay, Nick listening. Nick is listening.